hello welcome back to my channel this is our summary vlog and we're just going to be wrapping up what i did in new york so basically this is us at we work and we got some good eating i wasn't expecting that and this is me taking an image of you know in their lovely bathroom but yeah uh we got some great information from working with windows wear specifically um i learned a lot about the history of new york and how it kind of ties into fashion and you know and we visited a lot of the places like the meat packing district the garment district you know uh seventh avenue fashion avenue you know Saks fifth all the you know the very memorable and very important places in fashion within New York. So it was just really great to see how those all intertwined and basically how they just relate to fashion. The second place we went to was the New York Embroidery Studio. Like I said, I really enjoyed this place, you know. I thought it was very cool that they produced some samples for the Met Gala and do touch-ups. And uh, I thought it was really interesting to hear that they did a piece for Rihanna that it just it was very surreal to be in an establishment where they do such high quality work. So that was a great experience. And being there, we heard from a little bit about, I heard a little bit about Raul that day um, from John. He explained to us that he's a content creator in a sense, um, and he works behind the media scenes. And he also got to work on the Met Gala this year. So I thought that was really nice. And he does photography. So that was just really nice to see. We did speak with the, I believe he was called the factory manager and he just oversees the operations of the place. So it was just a really nice experience. The next place we went to was Michael Kors. I really enjoyed Michael Kors. I really liked what Sam had to say and how once again, tying back to those core values and how much being a hard worker and a go-getter is definitely sought out after within the fashion industry. Yes, you can have a nice resume, but are you going to really be about what you say you're about? So I just really like that he was more interested in someone's like efforts outside of the more impersonal setting of fashion. So I just really like what he had to say. And it definitely made me think, you know, okay, now as far as like qualifications, what jobs are going to be looking for, they're going to want to see me do something outside of the classroom. What am I, what else am I dedicating to fashion on my own time? So I'm excited to get that started. I actually heard about this news article Zoe had told me about. Um, it's a program after school where you can kind of work on it and, you know, you can even be published, so I'm thinking maybe I might go into that next year, you know, just to have something and say, you know, that I did other things just outside of the classroom, and it really did intrigue my interest. The next place we went to was Saks Fifth. We saw the different windows where they displayed a lot of the designer brands, and it was just really nice to see them in real life and kind of get an idea of what Windows Wear is taking images of. So that was just really cool to see. Yeah, I really enjoyed that part. And just seeing inside the store, you know, the how they have their own address and everything like that, that was really cool. It was just a nice experience. The next day, the following day, Tuesday, we went to Cotton Ink. And I think this is the day where I kind of really got to see what I would want to do within fashion. We spoke with three people, Katie, Kim, and Ian. Um, I really found interest in Katie's position because she's a content creator as well. For Cotton Ink, she creates promotion-based content 
and she explains why she chooses certain like looks or creates certain collections that can be viewed for shopping which i thought was really cool she uses imagery from different um brands of obviously with their permission and she kind of just gives her own opinions on certain pieces and looks that she creates and curates and this is a way how she likes to showcase certain products but in a different way and that's definitely that's something that intrigued me and kind of opened my mindset into the editorial side of fashion i also enjoyed our meeting with i forgot the woman's name but our tour guide for diane von Rustenberg, I believe that's her name is the woman who um pioneered the wrap dress that was also a great experience she definitely opened my eyes to the more creative and hands-on side of fashion especially when she had us speak with some of her younger employees and seeing how they have gotten far within their career in fashion as one was a writer you know creative director you know a social media content creator like these are positions that I'm also interested in myself so as you can see I took it upon myself to look up some careers in fashion and just kind of see what kind of skills you know they're looking for and everything like that and I see a lot of like uh, graphic design, um, journalism, writing skills, obviously, um, you know, content creator skills, you know, things of that nature. I definitely do think that this is something for me to think about and kind of explore when I get my master's degree. But ultimately, I have decided to go into the editorial side of fashion. And I'm very appreciative of this trip and everything that it has taught me. And it's been such a wonderful and helpful experience. I feel extremely blessed to have gone on this trip and learn all the information that I have. So thank you so much, Professor Kelly, into Windows Wear and everyone else who volunteered their time on this trip. I hope everyone has a great summer and thank you so much for your time. Bye.